This project is sponsored by PCBWay. This year PCBWay organized the seventh project design contest where in addition to electronic and mechanical project also has been added a new code category STM32 project. For the best selected projects are provided rich prizes in cash, coupons and special gifts. Submit your project for particip participation in this contest from 2nd September 2024 to 9th January 2025. For more detailed information and instruction, visit the given page. Let's PCB way always be your first choice. Hello? Schumann resonances are global electromagnetic resonances generated by lightning discharges in the space formed by the Earth's surface and the ionosphere. The primary frequency of Schumann resonance is around 7.83 Hz and has several harmonic frequencies. Multiple studies suggest that the Schumann frequency of 7.83 Hz positively affects human health and well-being. It has been linked to improved cognitive functions, reduced stress, enhanced immune function, sleep function and much more. For example, the alpha brainwave activities between between 7 and 14 Hz are state when a person is relaxed. This frequency is also often used in PEMF therapy devices for general improvement of the body's condition, reducing the effects of, of stress and improving sleep. This time I will present you an exclusively simple way to make such a PEMF device using this cheap Schumann frequency generator module and an amplifier of generated signal from this module. Otivis, this module costs only a few dollars and according to the seller's claim, it should radiate an electromagnetic field with this frequency. A so-called Peking coil is made on the PCB, which is supposed to be the source of the radiation. Now let's test the function of this module to examine the shape and strength of the signal and the frequency at which, is, which it oscillates. For this purpose I will use an oscilloscope as well as an electromagnetic radiation detector which is actually a coil from a small electromagnetic relay that is connected to the microphone input of the PC. Under the action of the variable magnetic field a current is inducted in the coil which is then amplified and manifests uh, as clicks on the PC speaker. First let's check the oscillation, oscillation, oscillation frequency of the module. As we see, now the frequency is 6.66 Hz. On the board there is a small trimmer potentiometer with which we can precisely set the desired frequency. We need to... We need to find rotate this trimmer and frequency as we see changes. We need to set exactly 7.83 Hz. Unfortunately, on my particular module, the maximum frequency that could be set was about 7.5 Hz. To correct that, in place on this of this small resistor R1, I connected two mega ohm resistor in parallel with R1. After this modification, I, I can set exactly the requested frequency of 7.83 Hz. Let's try that.
exactly 7.83 Hz. This is the only sample I own, so I hope your sample can be tuned to the correct frequency without any modification. Here is what my modified module looks like. Let's check if this little PCB coil emits EMF rays at all. The, mo the module is made on the basis of a timer integrated circuit 555 and the output of the circuit is directly connected to the PCB coil. This means that a current of several to several tens of milliamps flows through the coil, which I think is not enough for practical use. The distance at which the field is detected is extremely small and amounts to about 3-4 cm. This is a very weak field and can possibly be used placed directly on some part of the body. My idea is to make a device that would be connected somewhere in the living room or bedroom and would radiate through the room and would have the function of the relaxer or sleep enchancer. For that purpose I made a device that will amplify this rectangular pulsating signal with a powerful MOSFET transistor and I will bring it to a suitable coil made of insulated copper wire which will be a source of strong electromagnetic radiation. Uh, let's take a look at what's inside the box. Uh, the MOSFET transistor is mounted on a small aluminum heatsink and powered by an external source 5 volts 1 to 2 amperes. Making the coil is not critical, uh, but some general conditions must be observed. In this particular case the coil consists of 95 turns of lacquered wire with cross-sectional area of 0.4 mm square and a total length of 36 meters while the ohmic resistance of the coil is 4 ohms. As a general recommendation, the ohmic resistance of the coil should not be less than 4 ohms or more than 10 ohms and the copper wire should have a cross-sectional -section, area between 0.2 and 0.5 mm square. Now let's see how this device works in real conditions. When the voltage is switched on, one LED lights up constantly and other green LED flashes with a frequency of 7.83 Hz. This is a basic sign that the, device is, that the device is working. So that you can see the difference between the original module and the device after the modification, I have installed this boost switch. When it is in position 0, only the original module works and in position 1 it turns on the MOSFET amplifier with a new coil. Next let's check the strength of the electro electromagnetic field compared to the previously described detector. With the original uh, module about 2-3 cm and modified circuit
as you can see after modification the detectors the detector reacts at a distance greater than 50 centimeters taking into account the fact that the field strength decreases proportionally to the square of the distance from the source this means that new EMF radiation is tens of times stronger than at the module itself now the strength of the magnetic field has a value of about 10 gauss for a better visual effect and also so called placebo effect I mounted the module on the front of the box now even the magnet moves near the strong field And finally a short conclusion, in this video I described a very simple way to turn this chip module into a really functional and cheap PEMF device that is usually sold at a very high price. I am not a medical expert I, and I cannot discuss the effect of the device. If you are considering use it for health related purposes, it is crucial to consult a qualified healthcare professional to ensure safety and, if, and efficiency. This video explains the technical aspect of the device, how to build it.